happy St. Patrick's Day. Let's kick it off as usual with some responses. David, still very much enjoying the bracket. And are you really telling me that you haven't been sneaking real rubies into the boxes that I keep in my room unbeknownst to me? I'm so disappointed. Katie, I am so dang excited that you're going to be home in April because August is really too far away. I know I'll only really get to see you for a day, but it's still good. I liked the text from David. He made a really good point there, given that I saw your video four days ago, which only cuts about 96 hours out of that 4,500. It doesn't diminish very quickly. I hope you all are enjoying your spring breaks. Sadly, I'm not currently on spring break, so my life is pretty normal. But I did go out to lunch today at a Mexican restaurant in Arvada, which is the best Mexican food in the world. So that was great. And I have a raspberry cinnamon roll to eat for dessert today, so my life's pretty good right now. So I have developed my new bracket that I mentioned in my video last week. I have also checked a calendar since then, and including today, I have three Tuesdays left, so it should work out perfectly. David, I kind of stole your bracket presentation idea, so I hope you don't mind. So I'm calling the bracket quotes out of context, and the winners will be determined by which is humorously superior. Obviously this means that the winners are based solely on my opinion, so I'm gonna try to go with my gut instinct. Hopefully it doesn't let me down. Also, I'm curious to know how many of these quotes you remember, where and when they came from. Let's get started. Just kicking it off, matchup number one. I can do lots of things with papaya. You'll find out at the tent orgy. Versus, I don't know how I can stare at your crotch more. Not enough hours in the day. Both are vaguely sexual in nature, but I'm going to have to go with the papaya one. If you overheard someone saying that, you'd just be much more interested. Number two. So it's like Monsters, Inc. with time travel and Nazis. Versus. It's not out of the realm of possibility that Bigfoot could sell insurance. Kind of a random matchup that both of these occurred at some party that I was at with Matt and David. I'm not sure that they were both at the same party, but it was a party. I'm going with Bigfoot. Matchup three. If I went to a barbershop and asked them to cut my hair like Han Solo, do you think they would laugh at me? Versus. That's how wars get started. You ask someone to do something, they don't do it, and then you have to kill them. I'm going to go with the barbershop like Han Solo. It just seems a little less vague than the other. Matchup four. Oh yeah, there's romance all over the place. Romance left and right. Look to the right, romance. Look to the left, romance. In front, violence. You don't know what's behind you. Versus. All I'm saying is don't not sleep with a peach farmer just because he's a peach farmer. I'm kind of partial to the one about romance because I'm pretty sure that it was Matt describing Game of Thrones to David who wanted to know if there was romance in it. It's a pretty accurate description. But I'm going to have to go with the peach farmer because it's just so much crazier and I do not remember it. Matchup five. Cover your mouth. It makes things less funny. It's where the comedy gets in. Versus superior saliva. Evolution will favor us. Another interesting matchup, given that they both have to do with the mouth, and I did not plan that. Guts telling me to go with superior saliva. Matchup six. I needed some comfort. I really needed to touch toes with someone. Versus. But seriously, Hollister and shaved arms, you can do one or the other, but not both. While the Hollister one totally speaks the truth, I think that touching toes for comfort is a little more random. So I'm going to go with that one. Number seven, don't base your dreams on incorrect insect anatomy versus you're telling poor women who sleep on sofa beds not to have sexual relationships. These are both so different, makes it a little hard to choose, but I'm going to have to go with the sofa bed relationships because it just has to do with sex, makes it more interesting. Sofa bed sex advances. Final matchup. You can have a popsicle if you convince Matt I'm not a ghost versus Bugsy's got a bit of a mouth. Technically, that's all he has. Again, both quite random. I do remember the Bugsy thing. I'm not sure if you guys remember. It was funny, but I'm going to have to go with convincing Matt that you're not a ghost with a popsicle. All right, so that took kind of a long time, so that's pretty much all I'm going to put in my video for today. Probably do more Box of Memories next week because it's fun. Side note, David, you had talked to me about me house-sitting or pet-sitting or whatever for your mom, and you'd said this last week that she was going to be gone this week. And I have not heard anything from you, so I hope that your pets aren't starving to death because no one told me that I was supposed to be there. Let me know about that. Alright, that's it. Everybody enjoy the rest of your spring break. Goodbye.